All right, guys. So today I'm going to be comparing um, getting a regular Ego battery with maybe a CE4 starter kit, something like this. You can usually get for about 20 bucks or under versus a adjustable voltage or variable voltage. I wouldn't call it a full eSig mod, but it has three settings on it and it runs for about $20 also. Now this kit, for an entire kit, you can get, like I said, for about 20 or under. For this one, you're gonna have to get the charger separate. So this one will cost you 20 for the X6, but you're gonna have to get a special um, battery charger because it has a very deep well. And so you need to get this Ego charger that can handle the deep well on it. But once you have this charger, It'll work on this bat any Ego batteries, including the Ego Twist or anything like that. As you see. What I figured I would go ahead and do then is try out a couple of different... I'll basically try out the CE4 tank that comes with this um, starter kit. And then I will compare it, smoke it on the um, X6... And then I'm going to go ahead and try one of the most popular tanks on the market right now, which is the Pro Tank. And then I'm going to try using that versus the X6. So you can kind of see the main difference is going to be versatility. And that this one is going to be able to vape almost all of the popular tanks on the market. Where this one's going to be pretty limited to these type of tanks. Ones that are made to basically vape at a 3.7 consistent. But anyways, let's go ahead. Now you'll see that this works really good with this tank. You know, it works fine for something like this. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good vapor on it. Alright, now I'm going to move the CE4 over here and we'll go ahead and try it on its lowest setting, which should be about a 3.7 also, very similar to what this is vaping at. It's, when it glows red when you hit it, that means you're on the lowest setting. Tap it five times, it'll go to the middle setting, which will be a purple, and then you tap it five times again and it'll glow blue. So this is going to be on the lowest setting, which should be pretty similar to this Ego at about a 3.7 volt. Yeah, I don't know. I think it, it vape better off of the Ego for this one. But, of course, with this X6, you can turn it up. So now it's going to be looking purple when I touch it. Now it's about pretty similar, I think, on both. I'll try it one more time on the high setting, and then I'll switch out the Pro Tanks on the two of these. Yeah, I think I definitely got more vapor off of this. So you're probably going to get a little bit more out of the equipment you already have. And then like I said, it's going to definitely work better with some higher resistance stuff like this. But we'll go ahead and take a hit off of each just to kind of give you an example. You definitely would want to get a plinth or a thread cover on here. Yeah, I don't have any right handy, but... Alright, we're going to try it out on the Ego. Still, I'm kind of surprised it puts out as much vapor as it does even on this. But let's switch it over and see how much we get on the X6. So this is on its highest setting and that's what I would definitely recommend for the Pro Tank on here. Which I believe is like a 2.6 or a 2.8 ohm. Wow, there's a big difference there. Now that's basically what I'm talking about. If you're smoking on the small tanks, lower resistance tanks, like a CE4 or the T2 type, you're probably okay with a little Ego battery like this, but once you're getting up to something bigger like this Pro Tank, I really think the X4 is going to provide a lot more versatility for a very similar price. But I'll go ahead and put links to where you can get the um, CE4 starter kit for about 20 bucks or the X6 for 20 bucks. So. Anyways, use the links below. You guys make your call. But like I said, if you think you're going to be wanting to step up and use a lot of these popular tanks like the iClear 30, Vivi Nova's Pro Tanks, you're probably going to want to get something that you can adjust the voltage on. Alright guys, I'm going to take another blast off of this and then I'll catch you on the next video.